police. One man was killed and another seriously injured in San Marcos this afternoon when a steel building collapsed on them. It happened around noon at Thermon Manufacturing near the intersection of I-35 and Wonder World Drive. Those men were construction workers working on that building. Witnesses say they heard a loud noise and then a boom. It went just so fast. Randy Contreras was working just across the street. By the time you heard the noise and looked over, everything was already going down. A heap of metal and machinery that had been standing high in the air just seconds earlier. We've seen this whole thing go up from the foundation up, so we're always out there seeing progress going on, so it's kind of a shock to... Yesterday, we were just talking about it being up already so fast and then turn around and it's all on the floor again. In the middle, underneath steel beams that look more now like wet noodles, a piece of blue equipment, a lift truck caught in the collapse. One man didn't make it out of here alive. Another was hurt badly, but will survive. Well, at this point, we're notifying the next of kin of the families and working with the workers who were also on site. Within hours, federal OSHA investigators were taking photographs and questioning other workers who survived, trying to figure out what caused the structure to give way. It was going to be a manufacturing building for Thermon Manufacturing, a longtime San Marcos employer where there were a lot of heavy hearts Wednesday. This is a very rare and you know unusual circumstance for the whole community. Like I said, we've seen that building go up from the floor up, so yeah, to know that those people underneath there kind of wish that everybody was out of the way when it happened and nobody got hurt on it. Well, here's what we understand tonight from the contractor, Bailey Elliott Construction out of Austin. The workers were actually employees of a company that puts up metal buildings called Jet Castile Erectors out of Katy, Texas. That's near Houston. We know representatives from Jetka drove to San Marcos to inspect the site today. We're expecting to learn who the injured and killed are tomorrow once investigators know for sure that their families have been notified. Thermon manufactures heat tracing products that are used in the oil and gas and refining industries. 